your blend door on a 97 Suburban without having to take the heater unit out. What I did here was made a cut in the uh, glove compartment, which allowed me to stick a rod into the actuator, and then I'm able to manually turn it. So um, the rod I used, unfortunately, was too short, and I had to brace that bolt on the end of it, but you could do it by just a simple straight rod long enough to to stick in there and, and uh, make the turn. And I've got the dimensions here, so just follow these dimensions and you'll be able to do it. You have to grind a flat on the end of it that fits into the uh, blend door actuator. And I've got a, a one from a junkyard and there there is the blend door actuator. It's that round hole in the, the front of it. And if you grind a flat on the end of the rod, it'll stick into that and that'll allow you to turn it. And then uh, I also took a little bit of um, epoxy and put on the end of the rod as I stuck it in there. You gotta be careful not to let it overflow onto the, the uh, blend door actuator or else it'll, it won't allow you to turn it. But you can kind of see the flat on the end of the rod there that I used and uh, so anyway it's been working now for a couple years and I'm happy with it and like I say it's a temporary fix gets you around having to spend eight hours of pulling the heater unit in and out and uh, anyway makes it you uh, a good manual control you don't have to worry about um, a, it not working and and the glove compartment close opens and closes just fine doesn't get in the way doesn't interfere you got to drill a hole behind in behind the uh, uh, glove box that allows you to uh, stick the rod in the actuator and I've got the dimensions there for that so good luck and that's it